welcome to another vlog. It is bright and early on Monday morning. It's not quite 7.30. I've had about four hours of sleep. I am here at the high school because Shane is getting inducted into a new uh, underclassmen honor society, which is kind of cool. If you have a high enough GPA, you got invited to get into this. So they're having a little award ceremony. So we're here bright and early to go to the award ceremony and have a little breakfast. Of course, Shane had breakfast at home because he can't eat any of this stuff they're probably serving. But uh, we're gonna go pop inside and go celebrate Shane's achievement. Way to go, Shane. Shane Goldberg. My Sephora order came from the VIP sale, and I just have to say I'm so underwhelmed. Like, I'm so just, meh. They're all good products, I think, but it's just, I'm so, I was so looking forward to that Armani lip magnet that they're sold out of now in pretty much every color. Anyway, um, Born This Way Foundation, I am excited to try this. Today I'm wearing the Guerlain Lingerie de Peau, and it's funny, it looks good when I first put it on, and then as the day wears on, I like it less and less. On camera, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and it looks great. And then up close, it does not. Interesting. Anyway, I got a little bottle. It is little. Small-ish bottle of the Moroccan oil. Don't know if that was such a great price point. <clears throat> but oh well, I did need more of it. And the new Laura Mercier Candle Glow Setting Powder. Excited to try this. Glad I went with the fair or number one because this does look pretty warm. And then this cracks me up. This is when your beauty collection has gotten out of control. This is the Stila Smudge Stick in Deep Burgundy. Guess what eyeliner I'm already wearing today? Yes, I owned it already. Oh well, it was drying up. So good, I have another one. And it isn't even the one I wanted. The one I wanted was the Estee Lauder one and they were sold out of it. So I might just hold on to this and exchange it for the Estee Lauder one when it comes back in stock. I don't know. First world problems. What can I say? I sound a little whiny, so I'm gonna shut it and <laughs> get on with my day. It's been a good day. Anyway, so I just think it's funny that my collection has gotten, so how, how many of you have done that? That you've ordered something you already own and you just didn't even know you had it because you have too many damn things. Time to declutter some more things like eyeliner. I'm gonna get on that. So I'm happy to say that many, many, many of you do want to hear more about cooking paleo. And many, many, many of you have also told me to shut it when it comes to complaining how expensive it is. So, <clears throat> I mean, you said it much nicer than that, but um, as good friends, you can also just say, Marnie, shut it. <clears throat> And um, it, it, it can be very expensive. And I think most of that is because we've been trying very hard to duplicate like the snack items that a kid would eat, which is like all this junk. It's not junk, actually, it's quite healthy. But all of this stuff, which is very expensive, but so is like general like snacky junk food that kids eat, really. Um, but <clears throat> it doesn't have to be expensive. So for instance, this giant, pot of meat. It's like, I don't even know how many pounds of ground meat this is. Maybe two or three pounds. I'm making a lot because Shane is on steroids, prednisone, and so his appetite is immense, which we needed to be for him to gain the weight back that he lost. So we make like triple portions so that there's enough for Michael and I to still eat. The last few weeks, to be honest, Michael and I have been basically not eating or that's not fair. That's not true. Not eating what we served Shane because he eats the entire dinner that we made. So we kind of eat like cereal or like make a quick little sandwich or just something on the side, nothing big. Um, but anyway, I digress. So it doesn't have to be expensive. So little easy things that Shane loves and is perfectly healthy is just ground beef or ground chicken, ground meat of some kind, a protein. And when it's about halfway browned, I just throw in the cauliflower rice, just right in the pot. Brown it, and you're good to go. And that is a really inexpensive meal, along with some steamed veggies. You got dinner, it's easy peasy. Not expensive at all, totally paleo, healthy and quick. So there, fast, cheap, budget paleo meal, yay! Happy election day! Is it happy? I don't know, but it's interesting. We live in interesting times. 
cannot wait to see it. I can't wait for it just to be over so I can get on Facebook without being irritated by about half the people that post on there. Anyway, um, um, I'm up at school meeting with one of Shane's teachers, just still trying to get everything up to speed. It's really hard on a kid when you miss a whole week of school and you got to catch up with uh, all the work that you missed. It's especially hard when one of those teachers isn't playing ball with uh, helping you get caught up. So mama's up here knocking heads. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, just working together as a team to achieve the common goal of getting your student caught up. And I'll leave it at that. Anyway, so we're doing that. And then I'm um, taking Shane to his first follow-up appointment. I can't wait to see how that's going to go and get some more questions answered about the paleo diet and are there any exceptions and can he possibly eat some rice-based food because that would expand a lot of the more gluten-free options like all the gluten-free pastas and the gluten-free breads are mostly rice-based um so it just make things a little more convenient for me Shane really doesn't care but it's all about me I'm kidding you guys know I'm kidding um so anyway that's what's going on and it's really kind of gloomy outside which is kind of cool we don't get a lot of these gloomy overcast days so i'm enjoying that i'm gonna put on my oversized wrinkle hiding sunglasses and uh go meet with the teacher wish me luck so we had a really good checkup at the doctor's office and he has allowed shane to kind of expand his diet a little bit not be so strictly paleo but we're gonna try to keep him pretty paleo since it's working so well but he did allow him to expand to rice flour based products so that really opens up the kind of convenience factor a little bit to some regular looking and tasting pasta um, bread products that look like bread so that you know just like he can have a normal sandwich he can have spaghetti that looks like spaghetti and it's a little easier to cook so it's we're not gonna like go for whole hog just eat whatever he wants but it does make life a little bit easier for Shane he can have like hamburgers on things on buns that look like buns and it's just you know the kid's a teenager and he wants to have as normal a life as he can but still pretty clean eating anyway I'm gonna hop in the car and go pick the kid up from school and uh, make him dinner although we are having spaghetti that's made out of zucchini for dinner tonight. We're watching the election results come in. I am freezing. It's not really cold, but I'm freezing. So yes, I'm bundled up, appropriately wearing cold weather state gear. I'm so nervous about the election results. I don't know why. I just, like my stomach hurts. Making dinner. I said I was gonna make the zucchini noodles. Shane saw these and he's like, no, I want the real spaghetti. So I'm making this gluten-free spaghetti made out of rice. And for the sauce, I'm just heating up a jar of this tomato basil sauce, but I made a ton of ground ground beef yesterday, and so I'm adding this, not all of it, but I'm adding a lot of this and making a very hearty meat sauce, very simple. And then I'm just gonna steam some veggies on the side. We have ourselves a little easy dinner while we watch the election results come in. Good morning, it's Wednesday, the day after election day that really went into election night, that really went into today, but I fell asleep. <laughs> I really tried to stay up to watch the elections, but then I guess I fell asleep on the couch and Michael made me go to sleep in our bed. And this is what Shane eats now. We're very excited that uh, yesterday the doctor expanded uh, Shane's diet to include rice products. He's a little more comfortable with like rice flour instead of actual rice rice. So, rice bread. Shane said he still enjoys salad for lunch too, but so Shane has roast two roast beef sandwiches. Look at this. This is a beautiful lunch. Two sandwiches, chocolate milk, which is almond milk, bag of almonds, the gluten-free paleo sugar cookie, don't even ask. Um, actually it's rice flour cookie, that's what it's made out of. Um, a chocolate muffin top from Mike's muffins and sweet potato chips from this company that I found uh, at a website called Thrive, I think it's Thrive Grocery, I'll put it in the link, thrivegrocery.com I think it is, sweet potato made in coconut oil. So I'm going to bag that all up and um, I have sweet potato chips on the counter, don't look at that. And there we go. 
So there you have it. And I'm wearing this Vermont sweatshirt, not an endorsement of the state, but this is where Michael went to college. So do not read anything into any of this. There we go. I'm gonna get dressed, get myself together, and get on with the day. I'm getting my nails done, yay. I think I'm gonna go shorter. What do you guys think? I actually um, want to get that chrome nail polish done. Have you seen that? It is like a, it is a mirror-like finish on your nails, but it is, I get acrylic nails, done on top of my nails and then it's the procedure is a shellac on top of that so it's like another 20 something dollars on top of what I already pay so it's like 62 dollars <laughs> uh, for a two week nail polish no maybe for a special occasion so I'm just gonna do regular nail polish I don't know what color to do but I do know I need to do something with my hair I'll see you guys later bye so I just got my nails done and I ended up I was gonna do Pasha from Zoya but I ended up with this color I can't remember the name of it but it's from the new Zoya Winter Collection. Isn't it pretty? And I just got a call from Shane's doctor and I am slightly annoyed. If you remember when Shane was in the hospital, the hospital had, con I don't know if I remember telling you this, but the hospital had converted over to a new software uh, program. I'm gonna just keep you guys over here. So I'm not gonna look at you because I'm driving, sorry. That would be, it's rude, but it's also unsafe. Okay, anyway, so the hospital had converted over to a new, uh, software system to be able to accommodate all the new regulations put into place because of Obamacare and they it, was, it literally got implemented the day Shane checked into the hospital and as a result of that everyone was running around like a chicken with their head cut off nobody knew how to run the software um, it was kind of a nightmare prescriptions got lost uh, they didn't know how to run labs it was it was insane and it was very inefficient for several days and thank God Shane was not there for a life or death thing because it was not it did not inspire a lot of confidence let's just say in how the hospital was being run anyway one of the tests that they ran there while Shane was there a lab test was to see if he was metabolizing one of the drugs he has to take correctly to make sure it's not getting stored in his liver or things like that and it's a test that can only be run, it's a blood work test, but it's a test that can only be run in hospital. Well, anyway, the doctor called yesterday to get the results of that lab work because it takes a little while to run. And because of the new software system, they lost the test. They lost the lab results, the lab, the blood work, whatever. They lost it. So now they need to run the test again. <laughs> and it's... Obviously, it's frustrating for a lot of reasons, one of which is because Shane's not actually at the actual dosage that is recommended to keep the symptoms basically in remission. Um, they actually want to double the dosage, but they need to wait and find out if he's metabolizing the medicine correctly. So anyway, long story short, I now need to go down to the hospital and basically hunt down the CEO and make sure that when we take Shane in to get this test, either later today or tomorrow, that they do not actually charge us for the test because they are the ones that screwed it up in the first place. But more importantly, they delayed the test that is important for Shane's health that we have these results sooner rather than later. So I'm really not happy. Ah, oh, what a day, right? I feel so bad for Shane. Um, we got the hospital to admit they screwed up and they were gonna, they performed the lab test for free. We got Shane over there. Michael got Shane over there after school. They took the blood. Shane got home, it's late. They got um, the test done and everything. <coughs> Shane had his dinner, get his homework done, just about to get in the shower. And the lab just called and they're like, we are so sorry, we messed up, we took the, we took the blood and we did the wrong vial, the wrong color vial. Can he come back? We need to do it again. It's like, oh my God. Oh my God, are you freaking kidding me? So Michael is just rushing him down there, but it's like, <gasps> oh, and you could get mad, but it's like, what are you gonna do? Like, it's an honest mistake. They caught it the same day. I mean, oh my God. Just, I feel bad for Shane. I feel so bad for this poor kid who's had blood taken yesterday and now blood taken twice in one day. Like how much? <laughs> uh, okay, we're gonna laugh about it tomorrow, right? Um, this poor kid, like, what are you gonna, what can you do? I don't even know. Anyway, 
I made him cookies though. So at least you can have cookies when he gets home. I'm back at my favorite little stationery gift shop in San Antonio, Moon Mippy. And I think I found, I don't want to show you what I found, but I'm obsessed with these desk cal calendars. I think I might buy myself one as a present. Um, I'll show you the ones I'm looking at. Hang on, let me put down what I'm buying my friends. You don't have to see that bit, but I love this one. How pretty are those? Look at this with the gold foil and the pink. And it comes with that little gold stand. These cute, just really, I think it's so pretty. On my desk, here's another one. I don't know what that looks like. Here's a little Kate Spade one. Look how tiny that one is. I just love all the little things they have here. Like just a little catch all. I was leaning towards actually getting one of my friends this. Like just to have this on your nightstand or where you get dressed. Just put your little earrings in, little rings and stuff. It's so cute. Hmm, maybe I should get them these. Like these are the things you don't buy yourself. These make good gifts. I shall continue shopping. I have an update on the floor situation in the garage. So if you remember um, back to early summer, Michael got it in his head that he needed to paint the floor with this speckled um, finish and he didn't um, maybe read the directions right. This paint was not drying so he's like, no, I know what we can do. We can get this kind of flooring and I can put it in. It says, the, the, <laughs> the YouTube video says it takes two hours to install. It'll be no problem. And it took Michael 12 hours to install it. And needless to say, as you can see here, can you see? by my feet where the gaps are. It didn't quite go exactly to plan, but anyway, it looked pretty good. Well, when Shane was getting, was sick, and right before he got into the hospital, Michael was out of town, I was starting to panic, I knew something wasn't right, I was waiting on the doctor to call, and he said he was gonna call me any minute on my cell phone, and I was racing to get to school to get Shane to get him to the lab, and I don't get cell phone reception in my garage. So I was in this car, I had new shoes on that had high heels, and I was trying to get out of the garage as fast as I could so that I could get to the spot at the top of the um, driveway that gets cell phone reception. Anyway, my foot slipped on the gas pedal and the tire spun. I don't know if you can see. You probably can't see the tire marks. Anyway, all the tiles went and they just went flying everywhere. <laughs> my side of the garage is now just the paint and Michael's side of the garage is just the tile. And for the record, there are still patches. It is almost six months later, five. Five plus months later, there's still patches of paint that are not dry. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I just thought you guys would like that little follow-up because I think it's freaking hysterical. <laughs> All right, we are done with our birthday dinner. There have been many mojitos. And, and Michelob Ultra, so what are you drinking? Yeah. Mojitos. I just had lemonade, but anyway, real quick around the table, they're still alive and well. Everybody say hi. Hello. There's the beer drinker over there. <laughs> you made it. Our we did our present. Yeah, she's just like shaking her head all bedhead sexy over there. But it's way past our bedtime. It is so super late. It is 9.50, so we are going to bed. Crazy mom's on the prowl. We're going to dinner. No, going to dinner. Oh my god. See, we're going to bed. No Eskimo hut for us no tonight. Eskimo. I'll see you guys in the morning. Nighty night. Wrigley is getting a little pre grooming exam. Wrigley. He does not like his feet touched. That's okay. Bye, little shaggy beast. Be good. Behave yourself. Mimi, he'll be fine. Mimi gets very upset when they're separated. He'll be fine. You'll see him in a minute. He'll be fine. I don't think I really vlogged all day long. Um, since we took the Westies to the groomer. Hi, Westies! Hello, all clean. And you're all clean. They're all groomed and wandering around. And uh, we just got back from the first playoff game of the season. Um, is the phone ringing? 
no, sorry. We just got back from the first playoff game of the season. And unfortunately, it's also the last playoff game of the season. Our varsity team lost badly. It's a bad loss. But to be fair, first game right out the gate, they played against a team that went all the way to the state finals. So that was kind of an insane matchup. And it didn't go well. So the season is over. Friday nights are back to just a regular old weekend night, which means we can have a social life again, yay! Or not, I can just stay home and be a shut-in. Uh, no, but um, I feel bad. It's just, it's sad when it's over. It's a lot of, it's fun. We have a lot of fun going to the games and seeing our friends and I feel sad for the seniors. It's kind of heartbreaking. All things must come to an end, but I feel badly for them. But now it's on to the off season and training and Shane's gonna start working out again pretty soon with the team and getting back into shape and uh, all that stuff. So I am going to get into my pajamas and wash my face and go to sleep and start a new day tomorrow. So good night. Look what's going on here. I'm making pancakes. Woo! And one, where's the other one? I had two on the plate, on the mat there. Ah, sorry guys, extreme close up. Hang on, got a foot pancakes, right handed. Ooh, burn that one. Hang on, look at this, these, these two. Can you see them? Hello. For pancakes, they're sitting here. I think I'm making gluten free or whatever, paleo pancakes. Uh, it's a mix from Simple Mills, which if you're paleo people, they that brand is your new best friend. They have really easy to make cookies and pancake waffle mix. They have a pizza dough mix that is in my pantry. I haven't tried yet, so I don't know if that's any good. But, uh, oh crap, nope, nope, nope. It's too hot, don't eat it. Okay, it fell on the floor. You guys can have that later. Anyway, they're really easy to make. They're not crazy expensive. It's nice to have a convenience food. Just putting it out there. Shane loves it. I haven't tried any of it yet, but uh, he likes it and that's all that matters. It's a beautiful day. As soon as the pancake making is done, I'm gonna throw on some clothes and run some errands. And try to convince Michael to come with me because it involves going to the mall and he has decided he doesn't want to go to the mall. I don't really blame him, but I want some company and everybody else seems to be busy today. Sheen doesn't want to go to the mall either. Go figure. Uh, so anyway. I shall continue making my pancakes. I will say these suckers cook way faster than traditional, normal gluten pancakes. I don't know why. Does anybody know why? Let me know. The mango kale sands the mango. The mango kale sands the mango. He's so weird. He likes both of them. So this is a funny story. Look who I got to come with me on my errands. <laughs> um, anyway, we're running some errands and we stopped at Smoothie King and I snapped that we were at Smoothie King. And the next thing I know, Michael's phone beeps with a text. It's Shane saying, hey, since you're at Smoothie King, can you pick me up a smoothie too? It's like, <laughs> my son is stalking me on social media and he's, texting Michael to get him a smoothie because he knows daddy will say yes and that daddy knows what, what smoothie Shane wants to. He knows who not to ask apparently. I would have gotten him a smoothie. You don't know what he likes. You do. Yep. So spoiled. <clears throat> so spoiled. Daddy spoils him. Anyway, so we're gonna run a couple more errands and then we're gonna come back to Smoothie King and get the little prince his smoothie because we don't want it to go bad. It's the mango kale smoothie, sans mango with almond milk. Yep. Yes. Okay, now we all know what Shane likes at so Smoothie it's King. That's what I like. I and it's what Michael likes. No, oh, what is this? This never is never opened. Much. Wing never Chow never took. never took. Bizarro. All right, we're heading to Neiman Marcus to pick something up that I got with a gift card and then back to Smoothie King. And maybe an exchange at Sephora. Definitely an exchange at Sephora. And then back to Smoothie King. And then home. Yeah. Okay. Off we go. I am giving the Westies their dinner. Wrigley! He's going nuts. Um, I'm trying something different. I'm not a big health food herbal supplement person. But I've been doing a lot of research. Wrigley's been getting that itchies like crazy. We've tried the traditional methods. Antibiotics. 
uh, prescription shampoos, nothing seems to be working. Doing my research, a lot of people have been swearing by, I don't know if this is in focus, evening primrose oil, vitamin E. So, I popped open some capsules, put it on their food, and the dogs are going nuts. They're like, something is up, something is yummy on our food. Anyway, all the uh, anecdotal evidence suggests that it works. Within a couple of weeks, they have shiny, itchy, free coats. So, nothing else seems to be working. This is definitely better than nothing. Oh my gosh, you'd think I'm giving them beef stew. Whoa, Wrigley, beef stew. So let's give this a shot. Any dog owners try this? I'd love to hear from you guys, let me know. We feed them in their crates, by the way. I don't lock them in, but anyway. Bon appetit, babies. So um, I made Shane his burgers, and a little learning curve here. So when the recipe says use grapeseed oil and you don't have grapeseed oil, and you sub out olive oil, and you're cooking in the oven for 500 degrees, don't sub olive oil, because this is the end result. <laughs> um, Shane, you sure you don't want to try these? They might still be good. I'm sure. <laughs> you don't want to think about it? No? Very quiet over there. They might be tasty. Yum, yum. No? Okay, I'm gonna take that as a no. I'm gonna try it though anyway. How was it? The crunchy. Very salty. This is a no good, no good, no good. Oh man, it's not good. Oh, the carbon kicked in. Ugh. This is no good. Good thing is dad's coming and he picked up some ice cream for you. Soy, not soy, coconut milk, almond, some mint chocolate chip. Oh God. Ugh. It's bad. It's very bad. Hang on. Ugh. Okay, no, don't do that. Grapeseed oil, obviously something about high heat. Okay, lesson learned. So I'm at a different H-E-B than by my house. This is the kind of more funky one. It's called Central Market. And I'm trying these organic purple potatoes. And because they're not purple, Shane can't eat white potatoes, but I think purple or blue are okay. So we're giving this a go. And we can start, it's not far from where he goes to Sunday school. So once a week we can stock up on funky produce. So we're giving this a shot. All the pillows are going to be gone. There they go. Oh, wait a minute. That's me. Mimi? When did you start knocking off pillows? A total role reversal here. Mimi Goldberg. You are so busted. All right, guys. Well, with that, I'm going to say goodnight and end the vlog. I'm going to end on a high note. Cowboys just won. Yay! They beat the Steelers. Sorry, Pittsburgh friends, but it's been a great football weekend. First Ole Miss totally uh, came from behind and beat A&M. Love it. Just going to wipe the smiles off those smug Aggie faces. Sorry, fellow Texans, but you know Aggies are getting a little big for the britches, so nice to see you taking down a peg. And then the Cowboys came and beat the Steelers. Yes. Okay, <clears throat> enough with the football talk. Ole Miss. Don't you like my new sweatshirt? Yeah. Thank you. Anyway, it's been a great week as far as football games go. And just in general, it's been lovely. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And we have one more weekly vlog for this month. And then, yes, I'm doing vlog days again. And I'm calling them vlog days because I called the last couple of years vlog days, so that's where we're going to go. And I haven't decided if I'm doing it every single day, December 1st through the 24th, or if I'm going to do them every other day. But stay tuned so that you don't miss them. Anyway, have a great week, and I will see you, well, I'll see you tomorrow for my Monday video. And I'll see you every Sunday, no. That's not true either. I'll see you next Sunday for the last weekly vlog of 2016 and uh, stick around in December for 
more frequent vlogs. We'll just leave it at that until I make up my mind. Thanks for watching. Bye.